So as we all know, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is split up into many different regions. Those regions all, for the most part, um, have, have diverse geographies and locations. I mean, like, if you look at Gerudo versus Elden, obviously it's very different. Um, but even the landscape going from Elton to Akala, which are both right next to each other, it's very drastic. And today, uh, for the, after the first Legend of the video in a really long time, I'm going to be counting down my top five favorite regions in Legend of the Breath of the Wild. Uh, again, this is my opinion, uh, not cold hard facts. Uh, even though I do sometimes consider my opinion to be a fact. I'm kidding about that. Um, either way, if you guys like this video, drop a like. It doesn't, it's fine by me. Subscribe. That's the big, that's the big button for me because I ain't made. Because YouTube ain't got nothing on me because I ain't making money. Um, and before, before we start, I just want to give out an, an apology for not uploading as consistent or... As often, especially this past week and a week and a couple days, um, I was sick for like part of the week, and obviously it's Thanksgiving, but I don't know, just the drive wasn't there, and of course I chose a horrible day because uh, I I got a snow day today, so I didn't have to go to school, which is great, which is actually why I'm making this video right now. Um. But yeah, it was all my bad these past three days. I've been super lazy. Um, I could have uploaded. I wanted to upload. But I never did. It, and I regret that. Um, but yeah, so hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more of this content, I make po for the Pokemon content as well. That will at some point come out. And leave a like for the first actual video that isn't news related in God knows how long. So that being said... Let's get started. So first, number five on the list. Don't look at the top of the screen. It's, it is Elden. Now, Elden. What do I like so much about Elden in particular? This. Now, this is a blurry image, but just look, look at look at all these screenshots and look at this. They they made Death Mountain look great. In this game, easily the best. I mean, granted, every they made everything look great in this game, but I was blown away with how Death Mountain looked. And Goron City was amazing. I loved, I loved being in Goron City. Um, yeah, you see all these screenshots here. I mean, th this view, this view is breathtaking. When I got up, when I got up there, after I took down Rodania, and actually Rodania, uh, there's another thing. Uh, if you haven't seen my past video, can down the my ranking Divine Beasts in order of which way I like them. Rudania is very cool, and it was so it was so interesting the first time I play I was playing through the game, and I'm on the Great Plateau, and I use the Sheikah Slate all the way over on Death Mountain. I see this thing crawling around. And I'm just like, what is that? Get over there, realize it's big old Rudania. Um, it was very cool. I mean, obviously, getting to Goron City was a hassle, but once I was there, it was so fun to explore everywhere. I get rich <laughs> from Elden with all the uh, ores and stuff like that. That's probably the main reason why I like it. Whenever I'm broke, I just head over to Goron City, go a little bit outside and do some mining, and suddenly I end up with money afterward. Um, so, yeah. It's a, it's a very pretty, it's a very pretty, I mean, as I say, pretty it's also very dangerous um area to be around but like setting off from foothill stable slowly climb my way up and by slowly i mean climbing up to the tower paragliding and cutting off and cutting off because that for fear that my potion would run out even though i had many 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 minutes left over just me being me me being me so next up on the list we have tabantha now, Tabantha, if you do not know, you can see by this picture, it is the home of the Rito. You can kind of see a theme going along with this. Um, why do I like Tabantha so much? It looks it, it looks so pretty in my eyes. You can kind of see from this picture, like, just all the pine trees. 
uh, the mountains always look very cool and pretty up here just going through and seeing meadow and seeing meadow flying through the sky this big giant freaking mechanical bird drew me over there in an instant and i always i don't know it just felt like it, it felt like one of those places where you could like find a log cabin or um just cabin in general and, and stay out there for a couple of days and it's it's very it feels very fresh like there's a lot of fresh air there um, there are a lot of steep cliffs, uh, going across the bridge, you can see in the corner of the picture over here, it was pretty sketchy going, going through it, um, thinking there was going to be something that would make it fall, but obviously there wasn't, um, but yeah, I feel like the main appeal of all of this, though, I'm probably not going to be able to find a picture of it, but the main appeal for me, all this is Rito Village. Now, say what you want about Rito Village and the Rito, but it's, besides from ravioli, ravioli is eh to me. Other than that, I love everything about the Rito. They, it's very peaceful. The music for Rito Village is very so pretty, and with the with the Hebrew Mountains in the background, and get, getting to be able to fly up on top of a giant flying mechanical bird <laughs> it's, it's a lot it's very cool and obviously if you go back and watch my ranking of the divine v beast video all the stuff i just said i covered in that video uh i was why because that's why i like meadow so much just the entire region comes together and it looks very cool i like i like pretty much everything about tamantha next up on the list though is Lanayru. Oh man, what can I say about Linnea and why I love it so much? Zora's Domain, Zora's Domain, all the Zora's Domain. That is the like the pure number one reason why I love Linnea. I can never say Linnea so much. Um, Linnea, when I first played through the game, I was an idiot and went to Vanaboras first in, of the Gerudo, and I struggled. I was stuck in that thing for like two weeks. So heading up to Zora's Domain was a breath of fresh air. As you know, Ruta is supposedly the easiest Divine Beast, and in my experiences, it was the easiest Divine Beast. But traveling through it, starting starting up here by Inagnus Bridge, I think, or whatever it's called, Making your way through with all the rain. I I loved Zora's Domain when I first got there when it was pouring rain and everything was dark. So the the domain was like lit up with bright and everything. Because in this game, Zora's Domain looks so, so gorgeous. Everything in this game looks gorgeous. But this, oh man, this takes the cake. It was so good. The Varuta is, I'm not going to spoil where it is on the list because I want you guys to see that video. But I'm just gonna say, I Mifa is probably my favorite champion, just because of her backstory with Link. It's so good. It's so sad. Um, you have three. Uh, you have Tingle Island and Tingle's brothers up here. Don't know why it's not part of a Kala, but I'll take it. It's fine. The, the big open, the big mountains is always. It was. It's a very cool sight. All overhanging on top of Zora's domain. It's. It's a very pretty. Uh, landscape over here. It's a lot of water. Um, over here in the Lanayru wetlands, this fine. is mainly over by monsters. I actually don't typically run around there. I just typically paraglide off here from Kakarika Village to this shrine and then head over that way. Uh, there's the stable over here, and I always love stables. I always love civilization. And this being one of, if not the closest stable to Hyrule Castle, you see Hyrule Castle looks like it's right outside the door. Um, very dangerous place for that stable to be in. Um, but yeah, I like Lanayru so much, so much um, more obviously than Elden and Tabantha. And yeah, let's get on to the next one. Number two on this list is Nakluda, but not just, not just West Nakluda, East Nakluda as well, or Hatino you can call it. First off, let's start off here. 
this is the first area. Every, every single time I played this game, it's always the first area I, I went through. Obviously, the whole main point to get to Kakariko Village, even though you can theoretically go anywhere you wanted. I'm pretty sure most people went to Kakariko anyway. And it's just a, this feeling of adventure. When I first played through this game, all I felt was adventure. It wasn't bright and sunny or anything like that. It was actually cloudy and gray and raining. But finding all these items, I checked everywhere i i through the beginning of the game i checked every corner of this region i've i've been everywhere because i i i spent i kid you not like three days in this area not even okay not three days but at least a day in this area alone exploring everywhere trying to find chests fight monsters it was great i got here went across did the same thing i was there there for a couple more days then i spent a bunch of exploring up on um, the Dueling Peaks, which is a really cool thing on the river cut in half. Then, I got to my first shrine. And not shrine, but stable. That feeling of, oh my god, this is civilization, is amazing. And I love it. And actually, the first stable I saw in the game was this one. Up here, in Hyrule Field, which that one is actually the closest. I saw that one while exploring up here. And my... And my dumbass thought that it was a divine beast, so I ran away, not realizing that it was civilization. It just goes to show how smart I was at the beginning of that game. So when I got there and realized it was stable, I was like, oh my god, it's civilization. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. And so I love that. Exploring through here, ran to the first guardian, uh, off, except for the one over in the Eastern Abbey. I ran into another one over there. I did not think that was going to turn around. And I didn't. I said, no, 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 no. And I just sprinted the other direction all the way back to the stable. I eventually got to Kakariko Village. And Kakariko Village is one of my favorite settlements in all of Legends of the Breath of the Wild. I'm actually planning on making a video. If I Actually, I think I already have made a video. Yeah, I think I have made a video going over my favorite settlements and civilizations in Breath of the Wild. If I haven't, I'll do that. But Kakariko Village is definitely one of my favorites on that list. Obviously, you can go watch that video. I'm not even sure where I put it. If I put it on there, I hope I put it on there. Um, yeah. So, but I was about to put the, I was about to say the outro to the next one. But there's also East Nakluda. I'm adding this one in too because they're both part of Nakluda technically. And this one, I easily spent the least amount of time. I do, I... I don't like Eastern Nakluda as much as I do Western, but I still like it. Mount Laneru is the mountain of the game, besides Death Mountain. But Death Mountain isn't even a mountain, it's a volcano. Which is still technically a mountain, but you get what I mean. Mount Laneru is the sacred, legendary um, mountain that very few are able to actually go on. And that was a very cool thing, especially at overlooking Hatino Village. Um, I know for a fact I didn't put that one on my favorite list. Um, but it's still a great village. Obviously, Link's home is there. Uh, you can buy that in the game. You can, up you can upgrade all your rooms at the ancient tech lab there. And it overlooks and includes a sea. Um, a vast, big sea over expansing out. I mean, it, it's... Tino was one of those regions where... I climbed the tower and paraglided straight into Hitino Village, ran down, and on my way to Faron. I didn't spend that much time there, which is, again, not a reason why I don't like it as much as West. But it still counts, and it's enough to bring this up to number two. But number one, last but not least, is the OG OG Central Hyrule. Now, what can I say about Central Hyrule? Why do you like it so much, Inferno? It's, it's Hyrule Castle. <laughs> I mean, I don't explore Hyrule Castle to the end of the game because I'm a wuss most of the time in the game. But it's got so much history. It's where it's where everything got destroyed. I mean, running through it, you feel like there's the that the climax of the game is coming. You see as you're running closer to it everywhere from everywhere basically, you can see Hyrule Castle. It's big purple, pink, and black thing, spirit floating around it, I guess I, should, I guess I could call it, and it's very ominous as you're running up to it, slower and slower, you run into more guardians, and more death and danger when you get to Hyrule Castle Town, it's basically like, if you don't die here, well, 
Good luck next. Good luck to what's next. There's the Colosseum down here. And obviously, it's right next to the Great Plateau. Um, I mean, there is the outskirts stable. Um, there is that. And and the other stable over here now. I think about it. There's, so there's too many civilizations. But there's in the town. There was Hyrule Castle Town. But we all know what happened to Hyrule Castle Town. It don't exist anymore. Um... And I guess I should add on Central Hyrule. I guess I could add on to it. Um, Northern, I Northern Hyrule ish. It's it, it's the area up. It's the area up here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find a map of it. I don't think I will. I don't think I'll be able to scroll through up here. I, I'll add here. I'll add it here too because it's it's not technically. I don't think it counts as central, but also doesn't it's it's complicated basically i'm gonna count the korok forest in it as well um i'm going behind how castle it's very it's very weird as you're traveling behind it because because if you feel like you can just go straight in to Hyrule castle from the backside and uh go right through it as you're running next to it you're running on the moat basically and you don't feel that sense of like urgency as much but it's all very pretty there's a rune civilization back behind it obviously Korok forest is a civilization within of itself just inhabited by the koroks obviously and that was always very cool to go to obviously it's where you get the master sword so it holds some uh holds some specialty to me and i'll also add the great plateau to that because i don't know i'm just gonna the i I made this list in mind of putting Central Hyrule at number one because I knew I would, but I knew I had to add Northern and the Great Plateau to it. Why do I love the Great Plateau so much? It's one of the greatest introductions to any video games I've ever seen. <laughs> like, it's it, it's got every it has everything that in the game, like everything that's on the Great Plateau, pretty much except for Death Mountain, except for heat problems, except for heat problems, everything but. Everything else is in the game, just condensed to this one little tiny area. Because honestly, the entire game is just the Great Plateau, but spread out, and with different, with different landscapes, obviously. But all the same stuff. It has a mini boss. It has a it has a talus. It has a guardian in it. It has it has freezing. You have to learn how to make hot food. In, uh, when you're climbing up Mount Hylia, the Hylia River teaches you uh, how to swim, but also how to stay out of colder water. Um, there's obviously the Cronus and Magnesis stuff. There's enemy camps everywhere. It's it's such a good introduction to the game. And as I run this is leading ending off a video with the introduction to the game. That's where I'm gonna end it off, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. Tell me if you agree with my choices of Elden, Tabantha, Lanayru, Nakluda, and Central Hyrule. Uh, tell me what your favorites are in the comment section down below. I'd be very interested to know. Obviously, you can leave a like for the return of Zelda videos and videos in general. Um, and hit that subscribe button. I would very much enjoy that. But with that being said, I've been Fern. I'll see you lovely, beautiful people again next time.